now bring in different types of bodies. So imagine if we've got a scan of you or anyone, a casualty, that scan can then be brought into the CSI sandbox. There's, there's two products and I want to talk about both. So there's Investigate and then there's Riverlink. So Investigate is six degrees of freedom. That means you're, you're fully immersed in an environment and yep. you have control. So maybe you can tell us uh, more about the Investigate. Yeah, so at the moment, Investigate is on Vive and Oculus. So we can, we've been dishing out uh, demo licenses to people that want to try it. Um, but it's mainly at the moment for fire investigation or arson investigation uh, if, we're, if we're American. Um, but the, the thing that it is doing is allowing you to pick up things in the space and interact with anything in the scene. And we're using a Vive at the moment. But obviously, we can see a point in the future. We're going to be able to use the, the inside-out tracking headsets. Um, so I'm always keen to look at how that can be sped up and uh, streamlined a bit. So as we move on to inside-out uh, headsets, more like these type, these are, are tracking much more on the headset looking out, whereas the previous generation of headsets are uh, being tracked by lighthouses and sensors looking in. Um, so this eliminates one part of the process for installation that I think is going to be really beneficial. But with crime scene, I've spent about two years in the crime scene world working out how they do their accreditation and crime scene training and um, all the things involved in that. <clears throat> and they really need to be able to dress the scene themselves place objects in a crime scene for training themselves. So the thing that I can see happening with that, we're going to be releasing next year two, ex two experiences first, one pre-built crime scene that's already made and one sandbox crime scene where you can move things around. But we've got one, <clears throat> well, a few cool features. It's all photorealistic, exactly like River Investigate, but you can now bring in different types of bodies. So imagine if we've got a scan of you or anyone, a casualty, that scan can then be brought into the CSI sandbox. I can place the body on the sofa. And now I can grab the arm, move the arm around and place the arm and hand and neck and head exactly the position I want. I can lay blood, weapons and drip these things into a photorealistic scene. <clears throat> and then press save you know so you're saving that scenario you lay all the items from an ipad into the scene however you'd like them to be and then that is what the people um i think are going to um really find value in the in the six degrees of freedom crime scene training world right because at the moment they have uh, crime houses as you know people the police have these houses where they have to take people to the house and dress the scene and one of the accreditation requirements, if you like, is that every time the people do this training, it needs to be consistent to the training that happened before. We can't be accrediting people on completely different scenarios. So one thing virtual reality does is allow you to do that 100% accurately. Uh -huh.